and a bar in Martinez vandalized just days after opening, and it was all caught on camera. The bar's owners say the damage does not stop here. Like thousands and thousands of dollars worth of stolen tools and equipment, propane tanks, um, power tools, you name it. It is a setback for a women-owned business that just celebrated its grand opening on Friday. Hello, everyone. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Meebeck. Less than two days after it opened up in Martinez, a thief was quick to vandalize the business. New at 10 tonight, KTV's Amber Lee is live in Martinez after speaking with the owners about what happened. Amber. Julie, the owners tell me they poured their savings into their business. They estimate their loss to be about $20,000, and the crime was caught on camera. Surveillance video shows a man vandalizing Bentley's, a new mobile bar in downtown Martinez. He's seen tampering with what the business owners tell me are the water line and the internet connection. A short while later, he's seen entering Market and Main, a venue owned by the same people. He wheeled out items he suspected of stealing. It's really damaging. It's really, really hurtful and damaging to the business. Honestly, most of the power tools that were expensive were were locked back in here and stuffed in here and they took all of that out. Melina Clegg and Crystal Ensley co-own the mobile bar and market in Maine, the venue space that houses multiple vendors. The owners tell me Bentley's had just celebrated its grand opening Friday and they describe it as a success, but say the vandalism and theft that took place early Sunday morning, just a few hours after closing, is a setback. It's just so discouraging, right, to have, to have somebody do that to you. Would not really understand why. Like, what's why? The cleanup and repairs to the bar caused a delay in opening for business on Sunday. The mobile bar was constructed by Ensley and her boyfriend from a shipping container, and the two made the repairs necessary to reopen by Sunday afternoon. She was coming, you wanted to the owners hope their innovative idea of a mobile bar will succeed despite what happened. It's an out of the box concept that Martinez has never seen. It's fun, it's different. Not a lot of people see it out here, and you can have have it right outside and who doesn't like a nice cocktail outside. The owners tell me they're grateful that many people came out Sunday to support their business after what happened. They say they hope police catch the suspect soon so he cannot harm another business. I reached out to Martinez police but have not heard back. Julie? Yeah, what a great idea they have for that mobile bar and hopefully those pictures, that surveillance video will cue someone to like prompt and give police a call and so they can find out whoever did that. Amber, thank you.